we got involved in a new project in 95 uh, with the goal to make electronics smaller. And for that, I hired three people. In that project, we had the role to show the, the technology, to build demonstrators at that time. We built that. It was the smallest GPS system at that time worldwide. And uh, we got a lot of awareness outside. My role was a double role at the, be at the beginning, because first I was the, uh, the head of the, the, uh, of the lab. I was uh, the supervisor of, of the three um, assistant. And then I was a partner. So, and I had to play this, this double role. Uh, I was also the contact point to the EDH, because I have to organize the negotiations with EDH, how to handle that, the IP, for example. There was one professor in anatomy, and he was a specialist in pigeons. And he asked us, can we build a GPS system for pigeon to understand why they find their home? So uh, I think it was one of the first customer done by a student to build a small system which can be attached to a pigeon. So the next big thing, I think, was then the, uh, the Swiss road pricing system, so where we uh, were selected and won against other competitors. And it's nice to see that many, many cars at the moment are still driving around using our GPS system, the first GPS system. I think what we learned here, and it was over the 20 years, uh, it is about people. So uh, I think that was really the, the fortunate constellation of, of Mublocks to find the right people, start from the beginning. So it's astonishing that this group started in um, 97, is still there in the uh, executive committee. So, uh, and, and uh, also we find other good people over time, Hans Ulrich Müller, for example, Edzard Reuter, and Thomas Seiler. So all these people are key person, and I think that for me is the main reason that, um, that uh, MBBlox is successful up to now.